So here's an example of a crude oil blending problem for petrol grade production. And I developed a Excel solver template for this. So this is a Excel sheet template including the mathematical model implementation and Excel solver for mathematically solving this optimization problem which basically consists of blending available quantities of various crude oil crude oil categories into defined petrol grades with projected sales prices and market demand to maximize the total sales revenue and I made this entire Excel solver model available as a template for future customizations or for trainings available in the shop of my supply chain data analytics blog and here I quickly wanted to show the most important part of it and the basically the conceptual model model on the uh, underlying this um, optimization model so uh, we have set up a excel sheet with uh, the input data the input data is marked here in yellow uh, we also need to provide some area for the decision variables those are the gray cells here and then the objective function is the green cell here and the constraint functions are provided here in the blue cells so this is these are the relevant cells that you need to reference in your Excel solver model in order to mathematically optimize this optimization model. And I want to go through it now just to explain the Excel sheet here in terms of um, the various uh, parameters and uh, decision variables of this problem. So the objective function is the sales revenue and the sales revenue is calculated as a function of the sales price multiplied with the respective amount of petrol grade that is produced in this uh, production program. The input information that is provided as input data to this problem is provided here in the yellow cells and we can see the projected sales price as an input parameter but also the projected market demand in terms of production targets is provided as a parameter and if we produce more than this production target of the respective petrol grade the underlying assumption is that it cannot be sold or if it can be sold the, um, the price the sales price will go down so we will only produce up to this production target and we will not produce more than that um, then we have here the minimum and maximum crude oil category contents and the various petrol grades um, so this is a relevant constraint for the blending itself and uh, here we have the amount of barrels available from the various crude oil categories. So now we want to respect these minimum and maximum um, crude oil contents and we want to maximize the sales revenue. So we need to decide how much of the various categories of crude oils goes into the petrol grade so that all these constraints are justified. And we can let Excel Solver solve this for us. Um, so we just need to let Excel Solver know that these are the decision variables and then we need to reference these decision variables in constraint functions and objective functions. So the objective function is provided here. The sales price multiplied with the amount produced of low, medium and high quality petrol grades. And then we have the constraint functions here. So first we have the blend constraints. So if we look at this cell here, this would be the amount of category A crude oil that goes into low grade petrol. Um, this has to be, uh, this cannot be less than zero. So this is because uh, we had as input parameter the minimum crude oil content in low quality petrol grade has to be zero, zero percent. So the amount of crude oil uh, from category A that goes into low quality petrol grade has to be at least zero. Um, and it cannot be more than the upper limit. The upper limit is defined as the maximum crude oil content uh, considering the total amount of low quality petrol grade that is being produced. Um, so the um, the upper limit would be 100% uh, percent, um, of the low quality petrol grade that is produced, in this case um, 35,000 uh, barrels. 
Uh, we can see the optimal value is uh, 32,000 values, so we're not uh, going to um, satisfy. Uh, we are not going to, um, we're go not moving fully up to this maximum limit, but we, but we in this case, we, we, we're using a little bit less of category A crude oil in the uh, low quality petrol grade in order to maximize our sales revenue. But this would be the allowed range yeah? um, for the various uh, categories of crude oil and their assignment to the various petrol grades. So here would be the same for the amount of category B crude, uh, category B crude oil that goes into low grade petrol. And um, another example here, the amount of category C crude oil that goes into medium grade petrol. So these are the blending constraints. We have to set them up um, in addition to the objective function. And then we have the availability constraints. Um, those would be the amount of, if we look here in the sum, the amount of category A crude oil that has been used in a blending uh, pro progr uh, pro program. This cannot be more than the available amount of, the available amount of category A crude oil. So those, these availability constraints, they are here to ensure that we don't consume more of the crude oil than what is actually available by category. And lastly, we have the demand constraints. So the, the idea here is if we look at the, the constraint function here, we're looking at the total amount of low quality petrol grade that is being produced in terms of barrels. And this cannot be more than the projected market demands so on the production target, which was provided as an input parameter here. So these constraints ensure that we don't produce more of the various petrol grades than what is actually demanded by the market. Okay, and all of these constraints, objectives, and uh, decision variables can then be referenced in Excel Solver, which is documented in the instruction tab. And um, then you just have to click Solve and the Excel solver will adjust the decision variables so that the sales revenue is maximized considering all of these constraints. And if you want the template for that, then you can uh, click on the link in the video description and download the um, Excel template there.